So yeah, none of the campsites worked out. And then I saw that there was a national forest road and I figured, okay, there's usually campsites along a national forest road. And I mean, this place is amazing. <laughs> it's really usually not worth paying for camping when you can drive five miles down a dirt road and get places like this completely to yourself. <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> So because I found such a good spot, sorry, I have like water dripping down my face now. <laughs> so because I found such a good spot, I'm gonna have a fire and I'm gonna take a shower. I was originally planning on being at like a public campground. So I wasn't planning on doing that, but now I have the freedom to do that because there's nobody around for miles, hopefully. That's our target right there. New plan. Time to make the wood look pretty. I also found this knife holder. <laughs> so if anyone has been on National Forest Road 30 um, off of Highway 101 in Washington recently and lost a knife holder, <laughs> let me know. Doesn't have a knife in it, so that's a little suspicious, but I found the holder. <laughs> If you couldn't tell from my videos, I like organized stacks of wood in varying sizes. It's very satisfying to look at, I feel accomplished. But now I'm sweating and it is time for a shower. My first shower in 10 days. I do typically try to fill up at an area where the water's kind of moving. It feels cleaner, though this water is so freaking clear, I think it's very clean. Y'all are probably like, what is she doing with a cut up plastic bottle? But I really need a shave, it's been a while. And I need something that's like wide enough to dip my razor in to soapy water to shave better. This is information all of you need to know. So that's what that is for. <laughs> Cause I don't want to use something that I care about. So a shitty plastic bottle it is. Time to get clean. I spend so much time alone that I don't really care what I wear anymore. So this is what we're doing with some boots on. <laughs> We're
we're doing a super simple stir fry and then I'm making rice but I'm making sushi rice because I love sushi rice and that's the best <laughs> whenever my dad makes sushi at home he always lets me try the rice and he saves like he'll make little rice balls for me at the end and it's very exciting so I was like I just I really want some sticky sushi rice so we're gonna make some So this is gonna be a pretty bastardized version of sushi rice, but basically rice vinegar, sugar, salt. You just want it to have a sticky, sweet, sour, sweet and sour type of taste, and you're good to go. Obviously, if I was actually making sushi, I'd be putting a lot more effort into this, but this is just what I want. I just wanted something that tasted kind of like sushi rice and I succeeded and it's really simple. So really recommend. If you see white stuff floating by, it's not snow, it's ash. So. This is my kind of meal. Vegetables and rice. Can't beat it. There's a lot of ash. See y'all in a minute. I look like I'm holding a wand, but my stick has been whittled. By no means a traditional s'more. Um, cinnamon graham crackers, because cinnamon graham crackers are superior in every way. Hershey's chocolate with almonds in them, because I just like the texture. Obviously Hershey's, I'm from Pennsylvania. I grew up going to Hershey's amusement park. I love Hershey's. <laughs> Maybe common knowledge, but marshmallows and things like that, jello, gummies, a lot of gummies. They contain gelatin in them, which is what gives them that texture. Uh, gelatin is made from animal parts. Really don't look into it. It's, it's very unpleasant. Um, but because gelatin is made from things like that, and I am a vegetarian, uh, I try not to eat it. That's not to say that I've never had marshmallows or... <laughs> gummies or things that have gelatin in them it's just specifically if given the option i will choose not to partake in it it's it's a weird product but walmart had vegan marshmallows so i'd say the main difference is they're not as ooey gooey they're not as sticky regular marshmallows are better but vegan marshmallows make me feel better because i technically shouldn't eat regular marshmallows. I don't know, but regardless, yummy. I know it's still light out, but you know, it's nine o'clock, it's past nine o'clock, and uh, we, got, we got an early hike tomorrow morning, so I gotta force myself to go to sleep. Tell me that you're sorry, but I don't believe you, baby, like I did. I am representing my favorite band, the Stray Birds. They broke up, but... It's okay, I still represent them whenever I can. Ooh. 
I'm getting up in like less than six hours, even though it's only nine o'clock, 9.30. Fuck, I'm getting up in five and a half hours. Oh man. Summer is tough for sunrise. Easy for sunset, tough for sunrise. Anyways, I'm gonna go try to force myself to uh, go to sleep. <laughs> Because I'm wide awake. <laughs> Good night. I'll see y'all way too soon. Good morning. It's 3 a.m. Why do I do this to myself? I looked up the hike, and apparently it gains over 2,000 feet in elevation in two miles. So, that'll be fun. Blinded by the light. <laughs> The trail really just goes up. I mean, I know it says it does, but it really just up. And we continue. I think it's time. The worst part is we're not even at the worst part yet. the sign I've been looking for. Yay! Not doing that again. We have reached the rope section. So I'm gonna put my phone away and focus on climbing, not filming. <laughs> Safety before YouTube. That was an experience. And of course I'm the only one up here because I'm the only one stupid enough to do this for sunrise. Very fun hike. Uh, if you are scared of heights, don't do it. It's a little sus, it's a little sus but a lot of fun. This bird has been my only friend this morning. Bye bye. I don't think I'll ever do this hike again, but it was fun. I am safe where I'm right, but I'm just showing you how I'm getting down right now. I am sliding on my butt, <laughs> holding onto the rope with one hand and going down with the other. It's very fun. <laughs> Difficult part is done. We are back almost to the maintain trail and then it's just downhill from there but on a trail, not with ropes, which is better. My hand's a little dirty. I think my butt, I don't know, can you see that? Don't know what that looks like, but my butt is probably covered in dirt as well. <laughs> Cause I just slid on my butt down. <laughs> Cause sometimes that's just the safest option.
So I'm off the Storm King Trail, but there's a waterfall, Mary Mare Falls, very close by. Short detour. So we're gonna check that out before we go back to the car because I haven't hiked enough today. <laughs> I forgot the trail goes up to the falls. Back to the car. We're back in Elrond. I have no energy. <laughs> I'm so tired. I was hiking back and passing all these awake and energetic people. <laughs> and I probably looked like a zombie, but I'm back. I'm ending the video and I'm taking a nap. I'm not even pretending like I'm going to power through. I'm not powering through shit. <laughs> I'm taking a nap. I'm going to drive to the other side of the parking lot where it's shaded. And I'm going to take a nap. So, yeah. Sorry. Hmm. I spent a long morning. It's only like 8.30 a.m. I feel like I've already lived a full day. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one.